Enable notifications by ringing the bell. He tastes the blood of the wicked. He devours their flesh. And nothing remains. They call him... The Doom Slayer. My favorite thing from uh, Doom was from Doom 3. And it was like, assholes and elbows. <laughs> 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 but I also love the whole Betruger thing. It just doesn't have the same effect. But the whole, like, welcome to my domain. Behold the th- shape of things to come. <laughs> and, like, he's talking about, like, uh, soon I... I can't remember exactly his whole quote now. It's something about your soul burning hell. He's like, and you will never find the thing you seek. It was just like really creepy. It was okay. a really good intro to actually getting to hell in the game. There you go. Like, Yo. Yo, that's sick. <laughs> so for me, uh, okay. I think we can all agree out there. The Doom series, pretty freaking awesome. The newest Doom that came out, Doom, 28, Doom 2016, very freaking awesome. Love that game. You ever yeah. played it? Yeah, I love it. Oh, God, dude. I still need to finish it. Like, I'm, like, more than halfway through now. I'm getting towards the end, but yeah, never did beat it for some reason. Yeah. I, so, for me, Doom, Doom 2016, is, to me, probably, like, one of the best examples of, of past gameplay design amped up for the modern day. C- case in point, in mm. the game... It has the old school feel of like the old Doom games, but has everything like in terms of mobility, you know, graphics upgrades and all that for the modern era. It's literally as if you just upgraded the graphics in the original Doom to do this and you gave and you added in all the mobility that you would get in a like in a modern day game engine. And I love that. I love that feel that they give that they gave that. And uh, also, uh, I can't take credit for this, but uh, uh, how the story progresses, your character, you know, there's all this lore stuff around you and everything. Like, there's a video screen that comes up in front of you, and it's explaining what's going on. And the Doom and Doom guy just, like, pushes it out of the way like a confused caveman. <laughs> he's yeah. just like, he's like, it's like, oh, lore, let me get to the action. <laughs> wow. Pretty much. And, uh... One pivotal thing that really set off Doom 2016 and really made gave it a great feel was the soundtrack by Mick Gordon, who went above and beyond to give us one of the most headbanger worthy, gut smashing, he- like like fist crunching, t- like foot stomping good times with some of the best tracks on that on that entire album. And uh, we figured uh, to give a little bit of, to give Mick some of his just desserts, we would uh, we would see the video that he has posted on his YouTube channel, which you can actually check out down below. If you want to check out uh, the rest of Mick Gordon's music, it's down there as well. And uh, this is something I've wanted to do for a long time and I figured what better how better to do it with uh, my fellow metalhead. Uh, Nick Owen, and uh, let's get uh, let's get to it. Let's uh, let's rip and tear, baby, rip and tear. <laughs> I love that Regius, that guitar. Love this game, dude. (laughs) 
I've thought very seriously about getting an eight string and just like seeing what I can rip rip up in that on that shit. Do what? Huh? Oh, an eight string guitar. Yeah, getting yeah. an eight string and just ripping it up and see what I can come up with. I'd love to have one just to play around with. Oh yeah. The atmosphere as well. I love the atmosphere that comes from this. It's just like you feel it. Yeah. I love the little freeze frames that they do with that, like showing you the different character models and everything. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yes. Why can't more friggin' video game soundtracks be like that? I guess because not all video games are as metal as Doom. Shit, you got a point. <laughs> Damn it. I, I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, you probably know it because I think we played it whenever you streamed our show, but we actually have a song called Doom that is about Doom. Oh, I I, I think I remember that. I it, It's been a while ago since, since, I, since I did that live stream, actually. It's actually the only song that I had the lyrical uh, rhythm for ahead of time of the instrumentals. And I was like, so I have these lyrics I really would like to do because they're kind of fast. Like, you know, I don't really usually do lyrics this fast. And I was like, can you write something that goes along with them to my guitarist? And he was like, what about this? And I'm like, that works fine. <laughs> and, so, <laughs> and then that's how we made Doom. And I was like, uh, yeah, like, I think it's a cool idea for a song because... Doom is like hands down one of the most metal video games I've ever played. Oh yeah, like dude. everything about it, and uh, it's it's also a very influential game because it's mainly you know one of the first like actual first person shooters, and it inspired like a lot of the gameplay and stuff of first person shooters like throughout the development of them and the evolution of them. Oh, yeah. And then it still stayed relevant to this day. Like, you know, Doom 3 scared the crap out of people. Like, and then, like, you know, the new Doom is just like, you know, everything the original was pretty much times 10 on the scale of metal. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, For me, when I when I first saw the, the demo, what, okay. After Doom 3, you know, the whole thing, uh, the whole thing started as like, when's the new Doom coming? Are they going to do a, a a return to a return to the old form for uh, for uh, the new Doom? And then I heard John Carmack left in Software in 2013, and I'm like, oh no, yeah, that can't be good. And then all of a sudden, 
I heard that I heard that oh they're instead of doing like a full continuation of Doom three, instead they're going to do like a like a refresh, but not they're not going to get rid of Doom guy. Yeah. They said they made that adamantly clear in the beginning. We're not getting rid of Doom guy, but instead we're going to do something else with. I'm just like, all right, all right, what do you got? And then. The uh, and then I believe it was the twenty. Uh, I think it was E three twenty uh, twenty six or twenty fifteen. They showed off the gameplay demo. Immediately, all of my worries were thrown to the side. I was just like, "Yes." I was still kind of like when I saw the gameplay demo. I was like, "I don't know. Like that looks pretty cool." You know, I've seen like the dismemberment and stuff before. Well, yeah. It wasn't actually until I got a hold of it and played it. And just the feel of it, like, because I've showed it to my friends, too, and they're like, oh, it looks all right. Like, you have to actually play this game because it's hard to describe the feel of just how how into it you get really quickly and how, how like, much the music drags you into it and yeah. the speed to it and the visceralness of it. And <laughs> the last thing, like, that I even compared on, like, a visceral scale that I played was probably Gears of War. And it's still, it still, it kind of almost to an extent would make Gears of War blush. Like, just because <laughs> of the level that they pulled off. Oh, yeah. It. Well, the gore that you get in Doom is not, is, is, up, is far and away, like, much more than what you get in Gears of War. Yeah. And I mean, that's saying a lot because Gears was one of the goriest games I ever played. Like, part of the reason I loved it was just like, I was like, oh, there's something so satisfying about shooting a guy point blank with a shotgun and him just eviscerating into a bloody pulp of chunks <laughs> well for me it was for me it was always using the ch- uh the chainsaw bayonet oh, you yeah, know that why was fun too. you know why because that way i could just be like oh well i always wanted to repaint this room red why not start now yeah <sighs> and the, the, there was also always like a very nice satisfaction to getting a headshot with the uh sniper rifle and oh that's zach's that's seeing zach's someone's go-to. eyeball go boop yeah just go flying <laughs> Me hitting a headshot with a boltock. I remember one time there was this uh, Theron guard giving out orders like, "Human!" Right as he was about to finish saying "human," I headshot him with a boltock. <laughs> his head just disappears and his body falls over. And I'm just like, "What was that?" I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you over the sound of a friggin' huge lead pellet going through your friggin' skull. <laughs> God, dude, I love I love stuff like that. I love. I love being able to do that in games and just like and just like have fun. That's the yeah. imperative thing. That's what. That's then, what. Uh, the, my my thing about Gears though that made me sad is like they kind of did some things with two that sort of ruined the experience for me. Oh, what was that? Um, letting people stick grenades to walls that stayed there even after they were dead. Yeah, was that awful. that could be a little bit grating because yeah, all someone has to do is just run and get the uh, get the frag grenades. And it's just like it's just like oh. It's like, go out a little bit, dive back. And that's the only way they you can turn, activate them. Yeah, they turn grenades from a, like, extremely satisfying, humiliating for your opponent skill kill when you actually got close enough to slap it onto them. Yeah. And they turned it from that into a throwaway item that everybody just sticks to a wall at the beginning of the match and leaves it in hopes that they get a lucky kill. And well... That, that took away one of my favorite parts of the game. And then... They gave the flamethrower to everyone, which in my opinion was the worst decision ever when you're playing a cover-based game, adding a weapon that just kills people through cover. Like, you completely destroyed the mechanics of the, in, in the, the tactics of, like, using your cover. Like, by just giving someone a... It's like, oh, you're going to hide behind cover? Well, have fun burning, bitch. Like, you know, I was just like... Yeah. You, you killed this game for me just with two horrible <coughs> decisions. Well, like, for me... everything I liked about it. Well, for me, the the one thing that, the, like you said, with the grenades, the the one that got me was there was this one map where the grenades would spawn in this one little area, and uh, all the person would have to do rush in there, kill everybody, and whoever was left alive, the ultimo ombre down that alleyway, got the grenades and could just like plant them at the end, and if you were in a if you were in a team deathmatch, it would pretty much guarantee them getting two like. Depending on how good your team was, like two, four, yeah, like, at, like, like an unnecessary amount of kills, all because they planted them on the wall there, mm. and uh, it's like, oh, you killed the guy. Guess what? His grenades are still there. Yep. So it's like, all right, I, I got this guy. I got him. 
And I turned the corner, and then I, now I'm, I just exploded because there was a random grenade stuck there. Yep. Just, <sighs> yep. People, people are going to be like, you know, like, oh, get good, look for the grenades, noob. And I'm just like, but you shouldn't have to. <laughs> like, not whenever the system was fine in the first game, and then, like, they decided to add something that you have to completely relearn. Like, Well. That. And it just, it took away a thing because, like, you you held your grenades in the first one. For that True. humiliating, like, oh, you got something on your back. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, hey, buddy, it's and like, hey, buddy, is that a new spider? Or, no, no, no. Yeah. Oh. Now it's gone because it's much more lucrative for me for me to stick it, you know, on that tree and wait for uh, Pussy Destroyer 15 to walk by and blow himself to the shit. Like, so. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, well, that's how it goes, man. It sucks sometimes. Yeah. I don't know. It's probably an unpopular opinion. I know a lot of people still liked Gears after that, but it's that's just fair. The well, one I did. I killed what I liked about the first one. Well, I, I played. I played all of them, and I I still played Gears two and three, even though even though it, it uh, like I played those online, even though you know those those mechanics were still in there. Yeah, I played the single player for sure. Like, oh, single, single player, player was yeah, still really fun. But yeah, I played the multiplayer too. It's yeah, just, I just I, didn't play much multiplayer at all after that. I was just like, this is not fun for me anymore. Yeah, I was. I actually took the time and got pretty good at the first one. Like, and had like friends that were like you know mentoring me that were better than I was. Teaching yeah, me how to do stuff, and it was one of the first multiplayer games I feel like I was actually decent at. And then whenever. You know, it, it became a thing where I'm like, I have to relearn everything because of two stupid things that they did in this one. Like, it kind of discouraged me just because I was like, I spent so much time getting good at the first one, and they completely changed the way it plays. Yeah. You know, it just made me sad. <laughs> like, I was like, I ah, screw this game. Well, it happens, dude. I mean, it happens to the best of us. I mean, there's something that we love, and then things change over time. Yeah. That's just how things are. It's unfortunate. That's why I like Doom, though, because it's changed over time, and I've still managed to love everything they've done with it. So. <laughs> Yeah, it, it that's that's uh, that's one reason why I can safely say this is probably for me probably my favorite Doom game. I it, it is for me personally. I mean, I, I don't know how the rest of you out there feel. I mean, what do you all think? What's your favorite Doom game? But do you prefer the old school like Doom one or two, or do you prefer the uh, or do you prefer uh, prefer the more horror based one like Doom three? Or do you prefer the new Doom that's got the uh, that's got the upgraded gameplay mechanics? I mean, let let us know in the comments down below. So I guess until next time, uh, signing off. I'm Nate. I'm Nick. And uh, this was Mick Gordon's uh, Rip and Tear on Mick Gordon's. Rip and Tear. Yes. Uh, excuse me. So if you want to check that out, <coughs> there's a link in the uh, description to the original video and uh, support Mick Gordon. The guy is awesome in every single fa fashion, shape, and form. And we hope that uh, you all have a wonderful day. And until next time, we'll see you then. Peace out. Later.